Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm going to be doing another unboxing of another Axial SMT10. Uh, this time it is the Max-D and again this is the SMT10 Max-D RTR. Take a look at the box. Once again, this RTR, all it requires to run are batteries for the transmitter and the battery for the car and battery charger. Take a look at some of the features. It's got the AX10 transmission, comes with a 27 turn uh, brushed motor, and it's got dual slipper clutches. Here we see it's got a waterproof receiver box, uh, Metal Gear Servo from Tactic, 3 channel Tactic receiver and transmitter combo, um, Axial's AE5 ESC, and 2.2 uh, Monster Jam tires and wheels. It's got some adjustable aluminum shocks, 4 link suspension, and again these uh, re links are from the uh, Axial Yeti. Uh, they're also used in the bomber as well. So think of it as uh, four of the rear trailing arms for the Axel Yeti on all four uh, wheels. Um, and again, the SMT10 uses the AR60 axles from uh, Axial, uh, which the Yeti also uses, and as well as the bomber and the Wraith. So let's take a look at opening the box. Here we've got a, uh, the instructions. Some pieces for the body, the spikes, an extra pinion in here. extra parts extra driver head once again the SMT10 comes with the uh, the usual axial tactic transmitter right here Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Get the truck out. All right. Here we are. The uh, Max D SMT10. Let me free it from the box, and we'll take a closer look. All right. We've got Max D freed from the box. Take a look at the body. It's got some nice detail to it. Spikes. It's got orange wheels. One thing I gotta do warn you, these tires really, really smell out of the box. I'm gonna have to take them off and air them out. But it might be a moot point anyway because I'll be replacing these with uh, J Concepts Renegades and Tribute Wheels. So, unlike the Grave Digger, this thing's got a black frame underneath. The Grave Digger's got a green frame. You can see here. Yeah, so there's a black tube frame. Let's take a look at the underside. See the AR60s right here. The Yeti length trailing arms on both, both ends. And the Wild Boar drive shafts. 27 turn motor right here 
That's a brush motor. I don't know if you can see it, but the battery tray goes right there in the rear. My picking. Got a driver inside. It's a mean looking monster truck. Pretty excited to get to work on this thing. So, uh, this thing is really not going to stay stock for long. Uh, so one of the few things that I have planned for it, uh, I'll be, I've already got SSD uh, metal transmission gears to go in here. Uh, I'll be putting link plates on all the trailing arms. Uh, if not link plates, I'll be replacing the trailing arms with uh, metal, metal parts. I will also be replacing these upper links right here. Uh, they're pretty flexible so I'll probably be replacing those with metal parts as well uh, again I am going to be replacing the wheels and tires on this to the bigger cloudbuster size wheels and tires uh, the steering servo is going to be replaced right away uh, with a stronger steering servo I've also got uh, extra speed axle twos that I'll be putting in here to strengthen the AR60 axles. Uh, top of that, I will be ripping out the transmitter receiver combo for this truck and be putting in my uh, my own transmitter receiver that I usually use and share amongst all my other trucks, which is the uh, Flysky GT3C. Um, or I could use the Sanwa that I also have. I usually use my Flysky for crawlers, so I'll probably use my Sanwa for it. For this one. But overall this truck, uh, the grave digger was for my son, this one's for me. It'll be fun to run these together. Thanks for watching.